Hi, my name is Ami. I'm a poster is about analyzing traffic speeding behavior during COVID-19 stay at home order in May. Despite there were fewer cars and vehicles uh, on roads during the stay at home order, uh, we notified that number of severe crashes increased significantly, uh, not only in Maine, but also in other states of the United States. Um, we know that the severe number of severe crashes has a direct relationship with uh, the operational speed of vehicles. So it is a hypothesis that uh, as traffic volume uh, decrease, the operational speed would increase. So we use uh, five minutes aggregated traffic volume and speed data in 10 continuous count stations uh, over the state of Maine. As you can see in the GIS map, most of the stations are well distributed in uh, southern part, parts of the Maine. Uh, the data collected was in both directions of the roadway. So technically we had data for 20 stations. Uh, and we calculate the proportion of vehicle have a speeding over 10, 15, 20, and 25 miles per hour over a speed limit. Uh, in the figure below, you can see that um, the average speed of vehicle in May and April of 2019 compared to 2020 and 2021. You can see the significant increase in average speed in 2020 and 2020 bonds because of stay at home, home order. Uh, and also in 2020 bond, uh, people get used to drive fast and aggressively uh, as it interpreted uh, through this figure. Uh, this table provides information uh, about the proportion of vehicle, uh, proportion of uh, vehicles driving above a certain speed. Like uh, this is related to a, a station with puts a 45 uh, mile per hour speed limit. So this column shows uh, the proportion of vehicles have over 15 mile per hour speeding. And this column shows the proportion of vehicles have over 25 mile per hour speeding. The green cells shows related to data for 2019. The red are related to 2020 and blue related to 2021. You can see that uh, almost all the uh, proportion of vehicles increase from 2019 to 2020 because of uh, the situation of the stay at home order. Like uh, in April of 2019, 5% of vehicles have a speed over 15 miles per hour speeding and it turned to 7% in April of 2020. And it's also like the result in previous box plot showed in 2021, also it was bigger than uh, 2019. And like even in evening rush hours, the here the percent of uh, vehicles that was speeding uh, in May 2019 was 0.35% and it increases to 0.53% in May 2020. Uh, 0.51% in May 2021. Another noteworthy fact was that the traffic volume uh, decreases significantly uh, from 2019 before a stay at home order to 2020 during a stay at home order. You can see from uh, uh, 1500 to uh, it decreases to uh, 3600 in April of 2020, morning rush hours. But as you can see, the uh, traffic volume didn't change significantly from 2019 to 2021. So to model this uh, 
our hypothesis, we develop a, a binomial model with random intercept to show the relation of uh, percentage of vehicles uh, have a speeding in the roadway with respect to uh, various variables like uh, variables related to time or characteristics of roadway like uh, speed limit, variables related to time like whether it's weekend or not, whether it's uh, peak hour or not, whether it's uh, during stay at home order or not, or uh, different months, for example, April and May, uh, with respect to February, which wasn't uh, February of 2020, wasn't during the stay at home order. And the key results of our model show that. As we expected, as the traffic volume increases, the speed, the speeding will uh, decrease. And you can see the odds ratio of uh, over 15 mile per hour speeding uh, is 35% increases during a stay at home order. And uh, even after one year of uh, stay at home order, the odds ratio increases. Uh, up to 27 percent for over 15 mile per hour speeding. And having these positive uh, coefficients for a stay at home order dummy variables shows that uh, there are other factors than uh, traffic volume that impact the speeding, uh, the proportion of vehicle have a speeding during a stay at home order, like enforcement. Uh, we know that there were fewer or almost not, there was no uh, enforcement during a stay at home order because of the COVID situation. And other findings show that, uh, for example, uh, lower speed limits uh, will result in higher speeding. And so, uh, and Finally, we are grateful of uh, CIDC for providing funding for this project and main department of transportation for the collaboration and providing required uh, databases for this project. Thank you.